This video is brought to you by Scooter's Workbench. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoff Bergman Explained. In this series, we take a deeper look at all of the various aspects of the map Hoff Bergman for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the things you can make with the milk that you get from your dairy cattle. Directly in front of us, we have a butter machine and this is pretty simple. We just put milk into the butter machine. We take some butter barrels that we buy from the shop. We put that under the butter machine spout and uh, basically we make a barrel of butter. Pretty interesting indeed. Then our other option is to make a round of cheese with our butter. But in order to make our cheese, we do need one other thing and that is some enzymes, again, from the shop. So let me show you the things that we're gonna to need to buy in order to make our cheese and our butter. So if we go to the shop and then we go to objects, we're gonna go here to production equipment and we have our butter machine for $8,600. This thing is gonna take a thousand liters of milk and convert it into a thousand liters of butter. It's pretty straightforward. When you buy it, it will appear down at the shop. You will need to transport it back to the farm or wherever you're going to be making your butter at. Now, I used the Bergman trailer from the Alpine Farming Expansion to transport this back up here. And I like, just in my normal gameplay, to have it here at the cheese building uh, just because it is one so close to the milk storage area and it just kind of makes sense to have both things in here that we use our milk for now other things we're going to need to buy for our butter we're going to need to go to miscellaneous and we're going to need our fillable butter barrel fifty dollars it's going to hold 250 liters now remember the butter machine holds a thousand liters and makes a thousand liters of butter so you're gonna need at least four of these barrels in order to empty the butter machine, fill it with milk again, and start the process. So that is $200 worth of barrels. You're gonna need some way of getting milk into the butter machine. So that's either gonna be a bucket at 100 liters a piece. So that is gonna be 10 bucket loads or the fillable milk can at 120 liters a piece. So again, that is practically 10 bucket loads right there. Or you could use an IVC tank that holds 2000 liters. So you can fill the butter machine twice with the milk from this particular tank. Now the things you're gonna need to buy in order to make your cheese. You need to buy the Nature Lab, a, a, a gallon of Nature Lab, if you will. This is extract, is a natural product, and is required for cheese production. Okay, so you're going to need that. And I happen to have five jugs of it over here. And Hofbergman is really cool because you pretty much have storage for nearly everything that you can produce or need to buy in order to produce something. So if we come over here to the corner of this shelf, you see now we can hit R to open our shelf management menu, and we can store 16 canisters or jugs of this enzyme up here on the shelf. So we can eject one. And when we do that, we're gonna have it spawn down here on the ground, right there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and you now notice that when I put my hand over things, I get information. That's because I added the object info mod over at lsfarmingmods.com. And I'm gonna put a link to that mod in the description. So to make our cheese, we're gonna to need to take our enzyme and we're gonna need to put it into our cheese making machine. So we're going to pick it up, we're going to hold it over that, and now you see our fill level has reduced. 
to 452 liters, basically 10%. That's all we need. We need just a little bit of enzyme per load. So we're just gonna put that back up on the shelf. And what's cool about this is it's last in, first out. Okay, so if we eject this, what we're gonna get out is we're gonna get the jug that we just put back in there. So we're gonna use up all of the jug and then we're gonna get another jug. Okay, so it's not like we're gonna use a little bit out of each jug. If we look in there, we can see a little bit of our enzyme is in there. And now we need to put in our milk. So there's a couple different ways we can put milk into this thing. We can use, as I alluded, the milk can. Okay, 100 liters at a time. There we go. We can use a bucket to put milk in 100 liters at a time. So we take our bucket and we're gonna put it under this spout. There we go. Or we could do something a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient. And that is we could take one of these IBC tanks, fill it with milk, and basically put it in or hold it up over the cheese making area and again to put milk into this we just put it here beside our tank we get into the the gator and we hit i to overload into the tank and now you can see our fill level is increased we have milk label on there and if we hold this over the cheese facility we get a little spout our fill level is going down and the fill level in our cheese plant is going up. So we've emptied that. And we have now filled that up because it is now saying 94 liters. We'll fill that back up and what we need to do at this point is walk up here to the buttons and then we hit i to turn on our cheese production and we can see from the information screen below that 1750 liters of cheese base milk 48 liters of lab enzyme or 48 units is going to make seven cheese rounds or cheese loads and they're going to spawn in right here along this table this is going to take a little bit of time it is 10 30 game time so we're going to fast forward here in a little bit and basically see how many hours it's going to take to produce seven loaves of cheese now let's go ahead and talk about how we make our butter so we're going to walk up to this machine and we're going to hit E to enter the butter machine. We're going to want to hit N to open the cover. Now we're going to want to get out of the butter machine because now we need to put milk in it. So object info is really, really handy for this particular map because we can see all of the fill levels as we are putting product into things, as we are taking product out of things to really know, are we actually putting product in? Are we actually getting product out? And then it's less of a guess. So that's 360. And we can see we do have a display. So if we don't have object info, at least we do have also a display. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. And I'll come back once it is ready to get to the next process. Now that we have our butter machine 
filled with a thousand liters of milk. What we're going to do is we're going to enter the machine again. We're going to close our cover. We're going to turn it on with enter. And then we are going to hit B to start the rotation. And just like some of our other production, we now have a timer there basically counting down to zero. It's going to take us one minute of time to convert our milk into butter. If you look down there in the lower right, you'll see that the fill level is currently 1,000 liters, 100% of milk. As we progress through this, we will see that then change and convert to butter. We now have a thousand liters of butter. So we want to hit B to turn this machine off. But just for sanity's sake, we need to try to turn it off when the door is upright. Okay, and then we want to hit in just for funsies sake. That way we'll be able to put milk in it when we're ready. And we hit E to exit the machine. You see with the object info, we have a thousand liters of butter. Now we need to get our butter out and we're going to put our barrel under the spout. So I've got four barrels here, and just for demonstration purposes, I put it on this pallet that we can buy at the shop. Let me show that to you. So if we go to objects and then pallets, we can buy a blank pallet, basically. Transport pallet, we can get it in used or new format. And this is great because it does have a strap function. And we can basically strap, let's say, four barrels to a pallet and then move all four barrels around by just moving the pallet. So let's go ahead and take our butter barrel. We're going to put it under the spout here. Okay. Then we're going to need to get into the butter machine. And we're going to hit I to overload into the barrel. There you go, now we are filling our barrel full of butter. That's gonna fill up to 240 liters. Two hundred and fifty liters, sorry. And then when it is full, we're gonna get a top on the barrel. We can now pick that up and move it off to the side. Same process. Now we could kind of sneak multiple barrels here if we're careful. And hopefully it's gonna fill up both of these barrels at the same time, or basically one and then the other. Like so. So that's one way to uh -oh. one way to save a little bit of time. That way you don't have to get into the machine constantly. And then at this point, once the machine is empty, you can just put another thousand liters of milk into the machine, jump in it, start it, get it spinning again, and well, one minute later, you've got yourself another thousand liters of butter. And if you have another four barrels, well, now you'll have yourself eight barrels of butter. So we've got a little bit of our cheese being made here. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Remember, we started this process around 10.30 a.m. 
and we're gonna see this cheese progress from basically being in the form to being taken out of the form. Now it's kind of changed color a little bit. And once it gets a label, it is now finished. 250 liters of cheese. So this one is now out of the form. It's aged and it has our label. So we have our form, out of the form. It's aged a bit or covered maybe with wax or whatever. And then when it's full at 250, it's gonna get its label. So again, don't take it off until it has its label. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. We've got three at this point. Four. Five. Six. Let's slow this down. Let's go ahead and just turn on our lights here. Now that it is evening time. is almost 10 o'clock I'm wondering if it's going to take basically 12 hours so if this is fully done at 10 30 then we know it's basically 12 hours for a full load of cheese that's what it's looking like it's going to come out to it's 10 30 there we go so 10 30 the machine is now empty and we have produced our seven loaves of cheese now we can do a couple things with these cheese. We can obviously sell it right away. Or, like I said, this map has basically storage for pretty much everything you can make. And this rack over here is cheese storage. So we could take and place all of this cheese if we wanted into this storage rack. And now it is basically stored in there to get it out of the rack, we have to walk over here to this corner. And we get the R menu for the cheese management. And basically we have the choice of goat cheese or standard cheese. And we can have 24 loaves of standard cheese and 24 loaves of goat cheese. And we can eject both of those if we want. And they spit out over here. Again, we can put them back in just by doing that. Now, the machine we use is what we use for cow cheese, regular cheese. This machine over here is the one that is used for goat cheese. And we're gonna get to goat cheese when we get to goats. Now, that's not the only place we can store our cheese. Now, let me show you this really cool feature of this map that I just literally learned about yesterday. And that is, let's take one of these jugs of milk while we're at it. It is that down here, right below our cheese and, well, our cheese making facility, we have kind of a little cool house. And if we go in the cool house, we can see that we can store goat cheese, milk, eggs, meat, regular cheese, and suckling pigs in here. So we can bring our we can bring our milk, toss it in there.
We can bring our cheese in here and store it. So we have multiple places of storing our cheese. There. And now see it's stored. We can't pick it up. So again, we can store our goat cheese, our regular cheese meat from the butcher eggs obviously from our chickens milk milk cans and suckling pigs which again we'll get to when we get around to the pigs so it's really cool that we can store all of that stuff and we can come in here and we can eject it should we so wish out of the storage facility like so and tomorrow Game day morning, okay? We're going to look at basically selling our butter and our cheese. All right, good morning. Now, I've already stacked our cheese and placed our butter on this pallet. I wanted to show you how this pallet kind of works. So we've got our four barrels of butter on here, and we can just walk up to it and put straps on. Notice where the orientation of the pallet is with respect to the straps. You've got to basically be facing the side that has the stamps and the logos on it in order for you to get the straps to uh, come up. And you just strap it down and now you can move this whole pallet. Okay. And just to show you I do not have super strength turned on, so I can move these four barrels and this pallet all by myself without the need of super strength. Now, if we go and basically take these barrels off quickly, we can do pretty much the same thing with our cheese rounds. And stack them carefully on our pallet. Like so. And then we'll get put all seven on here if we're careful. And then we can strap them down and move them all at once as opposed to having to move them you know individually put them on the back of our truck we can put them on this trailer and then we can strap the whole pallet down also now, if we take a look at our prices screen, you're going to see that for our butter and our cheese, we can sell our cheese and butter at the farm shop. We can sell our butter at the bakery. But again, the bakery, if you remember, is only open zero, at midnight to 4 a.m. We can also sell our butter and cheese at the inn. And we can sell our butter and cheese at the village and all are the village shop and then all eight of the individual villager houses, just like we could with the milk. So since I demonstrated the milk, I don't know if I need to demonstrate the butter or not or the butter and cheese. I might not worry with it just because if you wanted to see that demonstrated, you go watch the milk video and that's where we demonstrate that i think for brevity's sake we just won't bother with it in this particular video so guys that is pretty much everything related to cattle and cheese or cattle and milk sorry so we can make butter 
and we can make cheese with our milk or we could just sell the milk directly and I think in the next video we're going to take a look at one other um, no sorry in the next video we're going to go ahead and jump over and take a look at our horses so there's somebody that had asked a question in a chat in a comment sorry about horses and basically where you feed them so i thought okay let's jump into and do horses in the next video where we talk about animals so in the next video we're going to talk about horses everything and anything related to horses as it pertains to the Hoff Bergman map. So guys, I want to do a big shout out to our farm bosses and farm barons. They are all members of the channel. They get early access to videos before they release to the public. They can have access to view those directly. If you're interested in possibly joining the channel, go ahead and take a look at the join button down by the subscribe button. And until next time, happy farming.